Welcome to this video on improving the graphical user interface. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video you'll see how you can set the size and position of a window by using its geometry function. You also have the ability to configure things like the colour for the windows as well as change the application icons and the fonts used. So let's start off by importing tkinter as tk and tkinter.font as font. We'll need these throughout the rest of the program. So let's have a look at how we change those first settings. The first thing we need to do is to create the window itself. And we're going to call that window root by saying root equals tk.tk. We can change the title of the screen by giving it a name, a slightly improved graphical user interface in this case. We can change the background colour of the window. I'm changing it to light yellow, but we could also add a foreground colour if we wanted by saying comma fg equals and then giving it a colour name. Colours can be used as names or you can use the hexadecimal values or the RGB values. There are several different ways to get a colour. final piece of the picture here is to set the image that's being used to represent the application. Here there are two parts. There's this first bit that's either true or false. If it's true, if you create new windows in this application, all those windows will use the same file. If you say false, then only this window will use the image file that we're defining here. Here we have an image and I've used file equals image info.png specifically because the name info.png is short. You can use any image that you want. Now let's see this program running. Here we have the graphical user interface created by this program. As you can see, the window is no longer compressed to the largest items we have. I've changed its size. We've got a yellow background. Things aren't particularly pretty, but it looks a lot better. The window has got a name and it's got an application icon up here. I've added a function called create window. And here I'm setting the width and the height of the window that I want. In this case, it's 500 pixels wide and it's going to be 400 pixels high. I use root geometry to define that. So having set the width and height that I want, I can then force the root window to be exactly of those dimensions. The bit in the quotation marks looks rather complicated, but it isn't nearly as bad. All it's saying is substitute the width and height anywhere where I have percent %d and put an x in between them. We also need some zeros at the end and we'll look at why those are there in a moment. But we can do more interesting things than that. We could maximise the window. As you can see, Python has now made the window take up the entire space available on the screen. One of my pet hates is that File Manager in Windows opens as a smallish box. Fine if you only have a few files, but most people have directories with quite a lot in. This could be overcome by maximising the size of the window when it opens up so that it takes up the whole of the screen. Well, first you have to get the size of the screen, and then you can set your window to that size. Let me show you that code. Again, I've created a function, in this case called maximize window, and the first thing it does is look to see what the width and height of the screen are. I use root.winfo to get the screen width, and root.winfo to get the screen height. Having got those, it then works in exactly the same way as the previous example. But instead of giving it 500, 400, we give it screen width and screen height. And it then maximizes the window to be however large the screen is. But we can be cleverer than that. We could get the window to be the height and width that we specified in the beginning, 500 and 400, but now that window is in the middle of the screen, right where the user would look. And the code for that is also fairly simple. 
Again, there is another function, in this case called center window. I need the width and height that I want the window to be, and I need the screen width and screen height, those we've looked at just now. But now I need to work out where the top left hand corner of the new window is supposed to be. And what I want to do is to even out the space on the left and the right. So I take the screen width and I take the width of the window from it and halve that. And that's my X coordinate. And likewise I do the same sort of thing with the height. I take half the screen height, subtract half the window height from it, and that's how far down I have to go. And now I can put all four pieces together. I can say root geometry and give it the width and height of the window, the X coordinate and the Y coordinate of where its top left hand corner should be. And in that way it places it in the centre of the screen. Now let's move on to changing the font. As you can see the font being used in the label GUI stands for Graphical User Interface, this is a GUI, it's not the standard font that comes with TK Inter. This is a font that I've set up, and doing that is fairly simple too. The first thing I have to do is to define the type of font I want to use. I'm going to call this type of font LBL font, and I'm going to set its font family to Georgia. I'm going to ask it to give me 18 point characters, and I'm going to tell it to make the weight bold. That has now defined LBL font, and I can define as many font formats as I want. If each item on the window has a different font format, it would look awful, but if you wanted that, you just define a different font for each one. We now come on to creating the label, and this happens in exactly the same way as it did before. First of all, we have to define the label itself. So LBL equals TK.label. It's going to go on the root, and then we're going to get some text. That is exactly the same as it was before. But in this case, the font is going to be that LBL font that we defined just now. Having set up our label, we can then put it on the screen by using lbl.pack and we have our completed window.